This Minnesota Twins team right now is embarrassing. This team is in a free fall. They are in a collapse this month. The worst team in baseball this month. Um, it is unwatchable at this point. And it's so frustrating. It is. It makes me feel like I, I want to be out for blood. You know, I want to be one of these people uh, frustrated enough to be calling for everybody to be fired. Um, and I've been thinking about this a lot. You know, I did a members-only video to try to hash through some stuff. I actually recorded over a half an hour of a video last night and trashed it because it just didn't make for a cohesive conversation. And I, the, the problem is, is I'm trying to shake this, and I can't. Um, I still feel like the best thing for 2023, at least, um, would be for Derek Falvey, Thad Levine, and Rocco Baldelli to be back. And I, uh, not that I support those guys, not that I uh, feel like they di they don't deserve to be fired. This is a results based business. There are only 30 of these jobs. Uh, would not be premature. Would not be premature to let these guys go. They've had enough of an opportunity. But the way things have built throughout these tenures, they've built, we were hoping for this year, and I think that's why it's so painful that everything's coming crashing down. But there is sort of a crescendo building for 2023. And I think right now, if you, and I definitely fall into this boat, if you want the Twins to try to compete, be competitive in 2023, I think the best uh, way to get there is continuity uh, through the, the main leadership. Now, there's a lot of other changes that certainly could happen, um, you know, as far as on the coaching staff, the training staff. I'm sure there's uh, some uh, tweaks to the front office as well. Um, but I think having these three guys at the top of it uh, is, again, the best case scenario for trying to get this organization back on top in 2023. Um I, and again, I don't really feel great about uh, about feeling that way, but I, I, I can't shake that. Um, I, I do think the injuries don't give them a free pass because there are ways to build uh, your depth to insulate yourself from being just completely crippled by injuries. Uh, but they certainly set this, this team off track this season. Um, and, you know, the thing that gives me hope, uh, and that that encouraged me most about this front office in particular is they they were very aggressive and they were trying to build a winning team this year. Now that doesn't mean that you know there weren't problems. This we all looked at this pitching staff entering the year and could easily say that's not enough. That ain't gonna work. Um, the over under coming into the year was eighty one and a half games. I said if I had to build if I had to put my house on it, I would pick the under. Um, so, and that's not to give them a free pass for falling apart. Uh, that's to say that I didn't think the team build was all that great. Um, now they did do, uh, some big things in, in terms of trading their most recent first round pick, uh, to try to improve the pitching staff in terms of signing a guy who was the number one free agent, uh, to a contract that paid him, I believe in the top five of, uh, salaries this season. Um, they went for it at the trade deadline more than we've ever seen this, uh, version of the twins uh, front office do and maybe ever really um so you know I, i'm encouraged by that they need to keep that focus going forward and heading into next year i do think this is a make or break year next year for the front office I, i'm gonna disagree with how these polls turned out that i ran uh and, and i am gonna say i want these guys back next year but i'm not i can't really say you're wrong if you don't want if you're say if you're in the majority of people it was fairly split but the majority did say uh, we do not want Derek Falvey, Thad Levine, Rocco Baldelli back next year. Um, again, I can't, I, I'm going to disagree, but I can't, I don't have enough conviction in that to say you're wrong. So, um, and I think, you know, as Twins fans, we're all frustrated. We're all not where we want to be uh, with this team. We all see the things that are going on right now in September, and it is pathetic. It is. It's horrible. They're, they're playing horribly this month. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind too. when when you're interacting with fellow twins fans in particular, we're all in the same boat. We're all frustrated. Uh, this sucks the way things have, have turned out this year. Uh, but I am willing to give one more shot. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily confident in the, that they're going to deliver on that, but I do feel like the way things have been pushed in, there's so many guys who are in contract years next year. Or there's been so many assets in terms of especially trading away a lot of prospects for guys who are only going to be around for next year um that there there's enough there to kind of make this a break make a break year 
on that level as well. I don't think it would make a lot of sense to bring in a new regime right now. Uh, but 2024 looks like, right now, looks like a pretty good clean slate opportunity if things don't go well. So um, this isn't a give these these guys have done a great job, give them a lifetime contract discussion. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to be out anywhere defending these guys. Um, so <laughs> just put it that way. Uh, but I do think the best chance for the Twins to get back on top next year is to have that continuity. Uh, these guys do all have a good synergy between Rocco and the front office. That frustrates a lot of people, I know, um, b- because of the way things are run. Um, but I think on its on its own, that's a good uh, thing to have. Now, the, the way things have turned out to have hasn't always resulted in good things happening, so we'll see. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. Well, hopefully they get in a new pitching coach. I don't think Pete Mackey is probably the long-term uh, solution there. I think that would be a, a big deal. I think that would help out a lot. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. And I think building up with the, the these guys uh, and starting from there is the best course of action. I'm sure you can tell by my delivery and my tone that I'm, I'm, I would I almost rather feel like I would feel better if I'd be like, fire everyone. This is horrible. Pathetic. Um, because at the deep, deep, deep down, that's how I feel. It, it's, it's ugly. It is ugly what has happened to this Twins uh, team and organization. The injuries are legit, but there's other stuff there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, thank you to all the members. Here's a list of the premium members if you're interested in joining. Uh, among other things, there'll be some prospect stuff there as well. Consider uh, joining up.